Well, welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, it's time for the LS lesson, man. I'll tell you, Brian, we got this thing tore down. You got it cleaned up really nice. And the honing cylinders, I got to tell you, they look pretty good, my wasn't man. wasn't hard to do. I'll tell you what, it went smoothly. We got a little bit of cleaner in there. A couple other little tips of the trade here. We went through and took a die, a tap and die here, went through every single threaded hole on the engine block to clean it out rechase those threads to make sure there's nothing in there that's going to be a problem later on. It seems like a simple thing, but Brian, you know, that's our torque specifications. We're only using about 10% clamping force on these bolts. You clean every one of them, you got a good torque, that's going to make the difference in the end. Absolute game changer. Next thing we've got to do is we've got to check every single surface. Deck height, we've got to check for anything being out of square. There's multiple checks you do here. We've got the gauge or feeler gauge set up for three thousandths. We're looking for gaps here. Again, everything's got to marry up perfectly so we don't have any leaks, any compression issues. You want to check this way, same sort of thing. You check this way, same sort of thing. And ultimately, we're going to come back and we're going to do a couple more checks this way. Absolutely. We'll do now, it on both sides. You can set that up. You can look at the first graphic there. I mean, there's all kinds of specifications out there, whether it's a service manual or a GM form. Find out what the specs are. Brian's just kind of using it as a go, no-go gauge. Well, what does that mean? We'll do that a lot. Basically, we're setting it up to the max. If it fits through there, you got a problem. Now, what's the problem? If it goes through there, you're going to have blow by. That cylinder's not going to seal. You're going to have all kinds of issues with overheating, cooling problems, low compression. Not a good thing. Doesn't fit. You're good to go. If it fits, time to stop. Not going to work. Looks pretty good over here, I must say. I'd like to do your side next, but we'll come back to that. Yeah, you know, on my side, I'll start over here. I actually want to talk about cylinder bore, cylinder taper, the measurement. A couple measurements you can make and look at the cylinders not out of round. That's pretty cool. Professionals, well, I got the cylinder bore gauge right here, which is pretty cool. Kind of taper. I can put it there. You can see it move up and down when I move it. Now I'm going to pop that in the cylinder. When I pop it in the cylinder, I'm simply just going to hold it across one side here, and I'm going to run it up and down. I'm reading the gauge. I'm looking for taper from the top to the bottom. You'll know. Then I can move it side to side, 90 degrees, and I can see if it's any out of round. I'm looking at the numbers as it goes up and down. Old school method, well, you get an old telescoping gauge, man. These things are inexpensive. They just pop out like that. Put them in. You don't have to have these fancy tools. You can get it close. Look at the specifications once again. Use it as a go, no-go gauge. Pop it in there. Make the measurement. Take it out. Take your micrometer make the reading okay if it fits wonderful now that i got it to the specification put it back in top bottom left right up and down like brian says he's always looking for that perfection in there take the bottom subtract it from the top and then you'll know your taper and side to side same thing awesome measurement Absolutely, and I tell you what, if you've ever cleaned out a rifle or shotgun barrel, you've seen a brush that cleans, looks very similar to this. Now, I'm going through every single cooling passage, every oil passage, every threaded hole, and just making darn sure we've got nothing, no contamination in there, no grit or grime is left. We're looking pretty good over here, but this is a little bit methodical, takes a little bit of time. Just take your time and get this right. Clean the brush after every stroke and I'm working all the way through. These are the cooling jackets right here. That's going to be critical because I think we're probably going to run this thing pretty hard. You know, and some of you are saying, uh, you know, Brian, that's a little nuts, man. We're getting crazy. No, we're not. This thing, that's the coolant passages that are going by the cylinder. If something's overheating there, well, you may have a lean condition. We talked all about that with engine performance. If I have a lean condition in one cylinder just because the coolant's not going through, that's a problem. Even more important, he's passing through the oil passages, man. There's no way for the oil to return or get to the different components in the engine without going through the oil galleries. Now, we highly recommend at this point, send it to a machine shop, have them do all that, and you'll be good to go. You know, there's a couple measurements we can make down on the bottom as well. Yeah, let's flip it over. Let's do Look it, man. Here, we'll go your around. way. Yep, come around my way. That's Ugh. good. Well done. Nice, nice, nice. Right. Well, here's the main bore that goes straight through here. Another thing you want, you want to make sure that main bore, we're going to make a lot more measurements. Stick with us. I know what you're thinking. There's taper. There's all kinds of stuff. Yes, mm -hmm. but this main bore is important as well. We're looking for alignment here. Simple as that. Got your feeler gauge. Yep. We're good. I'm going to check here. Good. 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 I'm going to do both sides here. Good. Even though that's thin, it's only a quarter inch thick, you want to check both yep. sides. You just get... Absolutely, but more accurate reading. And think about that. Your crankshaft's not running true. If this isn't true, I got the bearings. I'm going to wipe them out in a heartbeat. The bore has to be straight. I know it seems a little crazy. We're doing all these measurements, but this is what's going to make the difference, man. You sure want to join us next week. We'll Absolutely. take the piston and make those measurements as well. Hey, stick around. We're going to go over to Garage Ed, man. Got a cool segment for you there. We'll be back with more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com.